Hey guys, it's Mark from Mark Power Review Time. I'm going to do a quick review on um, these B&M Morph drones. I've got literally all five of them. I'm going to start off with the worst thing that I actually noticed. I tried to change them all into um, the combined mode, what I'm going to pick at in a little bit. But with my the guy Speedstar, as I was transforming him, this happened. And that's literally after I put him in combined mode and I was trying to get him loose and... He just snapped. Just, yeah, he just completely snapped. What I can only show you is his legs are literally articulated and all that and could rotate out like that, but who cares now. The arms literally were on a ball joint and he gets his gun and his head, but who cares, he broke because of this one. And I mean, He's big, but he is literally, he lacks so much from B&M, see? Literally just a little movement and he already came loose. And it, literally on the thing I was saying about B&M was on this packaging, there's a Bruticus head. But you pop this down, no Bruticus head. And I'm not being rude to B&M, but what, what is this? If it's on the instruction B&M, where is this? But he's got the same articulation, arms, literally on a ball joint, legs on a ball joint. The only decent ones out of this, and I'm going to actually say are, oh, but that was Overlord, are literally Vector, Battle B, and Blaster. And do you know why? Because these lot actually hold together. And I... Well, slightly hold together. But I am going to keep these ones because they actually hold together. They transform fine together. And all this. So I will show you the three what actually work as one. The other two, I, I just, I'm done with it. I can't be bothered anymore. So we'll change him into vehicle and then we'll get into showing you the rest. And then that happened, but that's on a ball joint, but it's fine. So you just literally pop that up and throw his gun down, his connector port, you literally kind of pull his whole leg up, and you can get it all the way up. The only thing I don't like about this set is literally when you're trying to get it done on video, and this is me just saying it in video, it, they don't want to work so literally once you've got that in you kind of rotate it to the point of no return like so but like I said if you're willing thinking about getting this set I personally wouldn't I really personally wouldn't get this set because of what the what actually just happened on the one I got and yeah i don't think anyone would be happy at b&m going back and going well i bought this it broke i'm not happy with it so there is when you line up all the pots ports and straighten them out and put them on things like so and there's one vehicle mode like I said, this is meant to be based on the um, Baruka set, but there's one. Try and get the weapons out of the way. Next is Battle B, what literally I think is really cool. So taking off his weapon, he's got two swords. Put his blades like that. Um, pop, give me a second, um, pop the legs, really I had the gun out, the hand out, but that was meant to be the gun, but um, pop the legs, rotate them, that's what I mean, they just pop off, they're not meant to just do that, they're meant to actually be really steady, so I've been reading, right, so then, untap the hat, 
and there with me I'm just doing this quickly off camera because it's just so simple than me getting really ticked off with this and throwing the figurines literally to the floor and trust me it would not be a great video if I did that so there's him bump battle be in robot mode with the blades on him you could give him like the that or you could just give him the two swords whatever way is up to you and then last but not least is blaster and I swear his tank mode is okay apart from it keeps on tabbing so his gun is he gets two guns he gets his tank and he gets this gun what looks they're meant to combine so I suppose so robot mode is literally ta untab them untab these rotate put the ang feet down again rotate feet down arms rotate and down and pull forward well all there we go put the hand down and and sorry guys I have to do this for camera because I can't seem to remember what I'm doing here. Ooh. No, no. And there's um, Battle, there's Blaster. And his feet down. And tucked away the support. There's block Blaster. But like I said, the joints are not that strong. So truthfully, I do not recommend these. I do properly do not say go and pick these up. They are rubbish. And I mean complete and total rubbish. Three out of five of them, I'm going to truthfully say, three out of five of them is okay. When you can get them to stand. This is weapon. If you can get them to stand, they will work in your Transformer collection and truthfully, I think they would really sit well. That's three of them. That's my personal opinion. That is three out of all of them. So the three I literally say are Blaster, Battle Bee and Vector. If are the win three I would recommend. The ones I don't recommend is Overlord. And speed, speed star because of the whole issue with Overlord being over tight and not coming with everything. And speed star because his joints are so weak, he just snaps. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this review on the B&M Morph drones. I personally, I'm going to probably have a look at these and see if I can maybe fix one. If not, I don't know what I'll do with him. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button for when I upload videos. You should know Instagram and Facebook by now, I'm not going to say it. So, yeah, I'll catch you all next time.